good time. Good move. <laughs> Great move. Now, now I need to know, because I can still change him up to, you know, kickoff time. I need to know my other running back. Should it be Thomas Jones or D'Angelo Williams? Man. You, you know, this is one of those situations with D'Angelo Williams playing the way he is. I, I, I can't see ever sit him now until he, he shows me he's going to cool off. He's as hot as uh, an item as there is in football right now. That guy is gold. He's got 15 touchdowns on the season. I mean, 15 touchdowns. We've, I figure with the way, you know, Denver can't stop anything. Right. They've only played, what, 13 games, and he's got 15 touchdowns. This guy is on fire. You, I mean, you cannot sit out D'Angelo Williams. No. No. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Good luck yep. to you. Thanks for the phone call. 529-1450 is the phone number. And just based on pure matchups, not who's hot and who's not, right. I mean, Buffalo has a better defense, and De- D'Angelo's, he's going to get the ball for Carolina. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I- I'm just praying in my playoffs I don't come up against the guy who has D'Angelo Williams. Yeah. scares me to death. Oh, you should. And Carolina's looking to win this week because then they can clinch a playoff sure. spot. 529-1450 is the phone number. Good morning. You're on Fantasy Football 101. Oh, they didn't hang on long enough. <laughs> 529-1450 if you want to give us a shout back. It's time now to run through our studs, duds, and sleepers. But we still have some time to take some phone calls, too, so make sure you're uh, that guy is still listening. 529-1450 is the phone number. And always streaming live on the webpage at sportsradio1450.com. Mark, studs, duds, and sleepers for the week. Give us a couple if you got them. Stud, uh, Clinton Portis. I th- as we mentioned before, I think after the problems with his coach, I think he'll rebound and have a real good game. Dud, Jamal Lewis. I love this. You guys know my love affair with Jamal Lewis. Faces one of the better <laughs> run defenses in Philly. Or Philly's given up six rushing TDs. All year, I don't see Jamal Lewis uh, getting one of those next this week. Sleeper ta- Dominic Rhodes, I, I think he'd be a, if if he's available, grab him and play him. He all put up big numbers against an awful Detroit team. They're last against the run and have given up. Get low this twelve TDs to running backs over the last five games. Oh, that's incredible. Mm, five games. Yep, not good. Hey, Rhodes should just be a, your stud actually, but. My stud is uh, Jones Drew. I like Maurice Jones Drew a lot at home against Green Bay this week, especially with Fred Taylor now out for the season. Uh, Jones Drew, it, Green Bay hasn't been able to stop anybody on the ground. I believe mm-hmm. they're like 27th against the, the rush. So Jones Drew should have a big, big day. He catches passes too, so that always helps. My dud is Kevin Smith, uh, Lions running back at Indy. If you look at Indy's rush, D, they're, they're ranked one of the lowest in the league, but they're actually playing much better than that these days. So Kevin Smith might actually be high on a few people's list, but don't buy into it. I think he gets shut down, and uh, as well as the rest of Detroit. And my sleeper, Devon Bess, wide receiver for the Miami Dolphins. This kid's been catching a lot of balls lately. This week they're at home against San Francisco, so uh, I look for him to have a, a nice game. And you got Kim Rios out for the season, so exactly. yep. he's their go-to guy right now. 529-1450 is the phone number. Here are my studs, duds, and sleepers for the week. I actually put down a couple for each. Uh, Initially, I wrote down Peyton Manning as a stud, but I still, I'm still hoping Matt Castle has a big week this week. I know uh, with the death of his father, he hasn't been able to practice a lot, and I know Eric, you talked about uh, Raiders being pretty decent against the pass, but I still think uh, Matt Castle is going to have maybe not a Brett Favre-like day when his dad passed away, but I think Matt Castle is going to show up this week. Uh, my duds this week, I put down a couple here too. Barber, Choice. I, I just don't see them moving the ball on the ground, uh, Dallas anyway, against New York. New York coming off a loss. They're definitely going to come to play this week. And uh, McGahee also wrote him down. Same reason. Pittsburgh's defense against the run has been uh, the best this season, I believe, uh, st- statistically in the that's NFL. Right. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. Yep. Uh, let's take a phone call before I give my sleeper. 529-1450 is the phone number. Good morning. You're on Fantasy Football 101. Yeah, I need to know who to sit of these four. Maurice Jones-Drew, Chris Johnson, Ryan Westbrook or D'Angelo Williams? Are you kidding Holy me? Holy cow. I know. I you had to you. Did you lose this year? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Not uh, very often. What, uh, I can't even. How many can you play? Three. Three, and you have to one sit one. Jones, Drew, <laughs> Johnson, Westbrook, and who, D'Angelo? D'Angelo oh, Williams, yeah. That's not even fair. I'm glad I'm not playing you this year. I, yeah. I sit Chris Johnson only because, <laughs> only because he, if Lindell White plays, he'll split carries, and I, you got to play Drew because they've got no one else with Taylor out. you got to play Westbrook. And who was the last one? The the Angela Angela Williams. Williams. You absolutely have to play Williams. I think you have to sit out Johnson. Process of elimination. Of it's a terrible thing to say sit Chris Johnson, but out of that four, that's who I'd sit. It's whatever, man. You're in good shape this Thanks week. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think you have any wow. problems. You're in good shape. Unbelievable. Another thing, too, Tennessee might want to rest Chris Johnson and Lindell yeah. White. 
uh, this week because they're already 12 and one. They're sitting pretty. Uh, they're on the road. You know, there's no sense in forcing the issue this week. You know, one thing I'll, I want to get back to the IDP. Well, there's one guy I forgot. I want to mention that he's under the radar. Strong safety Clinton Hart for the Chargers is doubtful. Didn't practice Friday. I don't think he's going to play, which makes you know fantasy impact. The chief passing game, well, well, this will help when if you've got uh, a bow, you've got uh, Gonzalez or Thigpen, it, it'll help. It, I mean, it should help the passing game for Chiefs. 529-1450 is the phone number, and Mark will update all those injuries. Again, he does a great job of that on the webpage, so make sure you check those out at sportsradio1450.com. Just click on Fantasy Football 101. He'll update at least once or twice before kickoff tomorrow, so you'll have a couple different opportunities to check those. Let's take another phone call. Good morning. You're on Fantasy Football 101. Yeah, well, how do you look at uh, Sammy Morris this week, uh, New England? Sammy Morris is in a situation with New England where they've got and, and they've got two or three running backs. They got Falk. They also uh, have Lamont Jordan coming back. Uh, they they play play the hot hand, and that's why it's hard to play a New England running back because they will never play an entire game. It seems like no, and it's a nice matchup, but you probably want to you probably want to go a different a yeah. Different do you have it, way. Who else can you go to? He's gone. Oh, he's gone. See you, buddy. Well, unfortunately, you know we talked about it pretty much all year. It's just hard to start a, a running back on New England because it's just. They just keep going through different guys. No one's really been consistent at all. Yeah. You know, Maroney went high in the drafts, but he did nothing again this year. <laughs> I don't want to get him on uh, Mark's soapbox about Maroney again, but uh, <laughs> you just can't play New England running Gave back. Gave you the death stare, dude. <laughs> no, and it's not a bad matchup, and Morris might have a decent week, but hopefully you go with somebody that's a little more consistent and uh, more of a sure thing. Yeah, especially in playoff time. 529-1450 is the phone number. Uh, we're just about out of time, but I still have time for my sleeper, right? Yeah, I was yeah say, I'm, I'm waiting with bated breath here. Oh, I know everyone's waiting. <laughs> uh, my sleeper this week, uh, Jason Campbell. Maybe oh. not so. Maybe not much of a sleeper since uh, you got the matchup, but he hasn't had that good of a, a week since they started throwing out those MVP letters oh, his geez. way. Yeah, I thought that was way overboard. And then he had a couple bad games. Finally, started throwing interceptions. But I think this week he gets back on track and tries to get the Redskins back in playoff contention. They are seven and six still. They still have a still chance. Still alive. That division's very and, tough, and but all those guys still have a chance. Dallas, Philly, and Washington. Yep. And they're playing Cincinnati, so, you know, there's a, there's an opportunity there. So that's my sleeper. He's not much not of a bad. sleeper. <laughs> can I, can I say real quick sleeper. before we get out of here? I like, uh, I like uh, that one email. I like Eli Manning actually better than Tony Romo. I've, I've sat and thought about it with no Brandon Jacobs. Uh, the running game in, in New York is not going to be what it usually is, so they're actually going to have to rely on Eli Manning's arm. But Derek Ward's just not going to run over that Dallas defense. It's got to be Eli. Yeah, I mean, I thought both choices were good, but that's a good point you made. Yeah, that's it. That's, that was it. And, well, and Toomer. We talked about Amani Toomer. He, he might be a good play, though, for the Giants, too, because sure. he'll be their main go-to guy this week without Plaxico and Hickson and Jacobs. There you go. Fantasy Football 101 right here on Sports Radio 1450. I'm Adam Stark for Eric Pedigo, Mark Graham, and Nicarelli. We appreciate you tuning in this week. Tune in again next week for Week 16. Good luck in the playoffs. For listening to Fantasy Football 101 on Sports Radio 1450. Class dismissed. Don't forget to tune in next week at 8 a.m. right here on Sports Radio 1450. There's no talk of lemons at Green Hyundai.